Hi guys and welcome back to Urban Air Gunner. Today I'm going to show you how to install a Depinger in your Benjamin Armada. Alright, so the Depingers I got I purchased from Hill Air Gun, but the concept is the same no matter what Depinger you have and are trying to install. I'll show you what I got here. Depingers. Yes, I have three of them. One's going in this guy here, and the two others are going in my Marauder rifles, which I'll show you in a later video and you get a set of instructions. The instructions read, be safe before attempting to disassemble the rifle, make sure the rifle is unloaded. Degas the rifle until all the air is completely out. This is a very good point, very good safety tip. I actually have to degas mine. Unscrew the fill adapter housing muzzle end using a 7 16 inch wrench. Tip if the adapter nipple unscrews but the fill adapter does not, you can use the barrel band to unscrew the fill adapter housing. Now, these are initially for Marauder instructions. The Armada does have a barrel band and you can do that, but you would have to disassemble the entirety of the gun, which I'm not going to do. I did that my first time around when I did it. So you remember this little guy from when we took it off? It goes right here. The next step in reassembly is put this forehand grip back on. Ever so carefully because there's not a lot of wiggle room here. It is going to rub, so you have to go gentle. And then there's a bit of finesse to get it to seat properly here. And it, it was a pain in the butt. And after I realized, hey, there's a much simpler way to do that, uh, the first gun I installed it and actually had to go back to Crossman. And this is the complete brand new replacement for that gun. So that's why I'm doing it again. If you have one of the new Marauder Rifles Gen 2, you can uh, pull the factory depinger out with a stiff wire that has a short J bend at the end, dripping 100% silicone fluid in at first. This will allow for easier removal of the factory depinger. The Armada has the same thing. Even though they're he's talking about Marauder instructions, it's pretty much hand in hand with the Armada. So we'll actually have to do that as well. Apply 100% pure silicone to the Depinger's O-ring. Tim Hill has already put, on, on every Depinger that I've ever gotten, he's already put the 100% the silicone on them. So that's a step you might not have to do if you purchase it from him and he's pre-applied it. Using a 3 quarter inch diameter, about 22 inch long PVC pipe to push the Depinger large opening first into the air tube until the depinger stops at the gauge port. You can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and pretty much purchase a two foot section of three quarter inch PVC pipe, slide it all the way in, and when you're done, you know you really haven't used or damaged the pipe at all. If you're so inclined, you could actually even return it back to Home Depot and Lowe's. Me on the other hand, I don't feel like driving to Home Depot or Lowe's and the 20 degree weather we have right now. So I have this and it is a, I'll say a curtain rod. As long as I'm careful, it has a nice flat end, it should do the trick just fine. If you don't have PVC pipe or something similar, usually any home improvement store sells PVC pipe and can cut a section to length for you. Like I say, they sell pre-cut sections for about $3. You can also use the PVC pipe later if you need to remove the valve or gauge port for maintenance. Reassemble your rifle, cock the bolt back before pressurizing the reservoir. And before I didn't really know what that, why you would cock the bolt back, but one of the guns I got, the, the gun wasn't cocked and I went to fill it. And when I went to fill it, it had the hammer depressed, so it was pressing into the valve. So when I was filling it with air, the air was just rushing out of the gun until I cocked it back. And that's why I believe that step is in there. So what you're gonna need is an Allen wrench, and you are going to need a 5 64 inch Allen wrench and that fits in there good and you're going to need one a little longer. I have a bit set, the bit set won't go in so I need the actual full length key. Going to need a ratchet. And I know the instructions said to use a 7 16 socket. I found out that my 11 millimeter fits the fitting just a little more snug so I'm going to use my 11 millimeter instead of my 7 16 the last thing we're going to need is the 
push rod to push the depinger in. And one of the really most important things you're gonna need is a wire, the stiff wire that you've bent a little J in the end to pull the factory depinger out. This is just some wire I had lying around the house and you can see I've bent the J into it and I've made it so all the wires are kind of hooked in so they won't scratch the side of the air cylinder tube. The gun's almost out of air. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, go ahead and say the gun's out of air, but I'm gonna check just to make sure. Now that the gun's out of air, safe to work on, step one, we'll remove this right here. Okay, take that guy off, put him to the side. Unscrew this. Now you don't have to unscrew it all the way, just enough to get the set screw off the valve gauge or the valve the just you don't have to unscrew it all the way just enough to loosen from the barrel band and this actually has an orientation you'll see on this side each of them line up and on this side, the top one protrudes a little further. They're like the little tabs that index it into the, the tactical forearm on the gun. When you put it back in, you want the ones that protrude a little further facing in towards the gun. Now grab your wrench. Make sure it's going to be loosening it, which mine is. Put it on and easily just apply the pressure to break it free. Surprisingly enough, I didn't even have to break this free. I'm not alarmed that I didn't have to break it free. I know with pneumatic fittings like this, that once it's in, snugged in, that when you put the air pressure behind it, it locks everything in place as well. That's how it was on my carbon fiber air bottle that I used to fill these up with when I changed the regulator. I didn't have to torque it down to any certain spec, I just had to tighten it and fill it with air and the air pressure locks it right in place. I guess one step you could take to make this process a little easier would be taking the shroud off, but I wanted to do this the, the simplest that I could. I'm just pulling it out because there's an o-ring in there that's just keeping it seated. Pull it as straight out as I can. So once you have this out, what I like to do, I take it, I seat it into my socket and I just place it and just sit it right up like that. That way I know it's not rolling off the table and getting all kinds of dirt and debris on it. All right, now the fun part, we get to go fishing. Just kind of making sure that no dust or little hairs in the air can fall down in there, clog anything up. Grab my fishing tool. All right, I'm trying to see the factory depinger, but I can't get my head close enough to see down in there. So the easiest thing for me is gonna be standing. So I'll be out of the frame for a little bit, but you'll be able to see me fishing it. And when you look down there, you'll see it. I'll show it to you and then you'll know what I'm talking about. But just take your, your uh, wire, put it in. You'll feel it. You saw that little resistance right there. That was it going by the factory depinger. So now that I've hooked onto it, I'm slowly just pulling it out. If I hear any scraping at all, I'm gonna stop, but I don't hear any scraping at all. Coming a lot easier right here. You can see it, it's right at the threads. Gonna re-grip on it. 
it's kind of twisting itself coming up through the threads, but that's okay. I'm just gonna turn it this way so I can get even pressure on it, bring it up through the threads. I'm just gonna work it up and over the threads. And that's pretty much out of the gun. Okay, and we're out. Let me set the gun down and show you what I just pulled out. This is the factory deep hanger. And they set this halfway through, so it's maybe like right there on the gun. Halfway through, it's not all the way at the end, it's halfway through. Basically what I did is when I stuck this in, you'll feel a little resistance. It pushes through. I pulled it back. All these grabbed into the rubber, and then I pulled it out. When I got to the threads, the threads kind of hooked on the top, so I just applied pressure, then turned the wire to apply pressure on the other side, and turned it back, and it kind of stepped it up out of the threads without kind of twisting it and kinking it a lot. And I have to say, this, this whole procedure went a lot smoother than the first time I did this. <laughs> like I say, the first time I did this, I took the gun pretty much almost completely apart. I took all the furniture off the gun, which you don't have to do. I, I took the front off, I took this these off right here, I took the whole top of the gun off. And you don't have to do that, which is makes it a lot easier, a lot quicker. So far, I would say I've spent, if, if I'm really boiling it down, less than six minutes actually doing this whole procedure. Okay, here's your depinger, time to install it. The first time I did it, I put gloves on to put it in so I wouldn't get any dust or oils on it. This time, I'm just gonna take it directly from the little plastic baggie and just push it in. So when you push it in, you'll notice there's a side and it has a shiny circle on it and a big opening. You can see I can stick my finger into that opening. That goes in first. This side, it's all blue, has a little tiny opening and a flat top. It has a rubber o-ring. You can see it right there. That face is out of the gun. So if you're looking into the gun, I'm seeing this side and this side is the one that's going in first. So that's what the end of the gun looks like right now. We're gonna be installing the pinger down that tube. So for right now, I'm just gonna work the depinger out of the bag so I'm not really touching it, but I can still stick it down in that hole. You can see that the pinger's in there right now. I'm just gonna turn the bag inside out around my thumb and use my thumb just to seat it down in there, past the threads. And you want to use even pressure is the key to this. It's down seated past the threads. Okay, I've got the gun in a vertical position now. I've got the depinger in there seated past the threads. I've got my rod that I'm gonna to use to push it down with. Just the study pressure. And you saw it just get the last little bit over the threads right there. You're just going to see it all the way to the bottom. It's in at the bottom, and it went in from the end to where my fingers are. So, that far down on the gun. We're ready to put it, everything back together now. Take your end. Put it in. And just seat it back past the, all right past the threads. Okay, we're right at the end. I'm just gonna, if it doesn't wanna go, I'm not gonna force it. I gave it a little, I got to the end and it stopped and I put a little little torque pressure on it. Didn't wanna tighten down or budge a little bit, so I'm gonna stop. Take your band, remember, the protrudy ends go down. Put your band back on and this will line everything back up. 
slides down really easy. Tighten your band set screw back up. And remember, it just has to be snug. It's not holding the whole gun together. Put your top back on. I'm just gonna do this for now because I'm gonna fill it with air in one second. Last step of the instructions said to cock the rifle, so. It's on. It's cocked and it's on safe and it's unloaded. And that's it, we just installed the deep hanger. Wasn't hard at all. When I first got my deep hangers in, I was really nervous. I, like I said in the last video, Tim Hill sent me pictures and details and took the nervousness out of it for me. Anybody can do this. It's very simple, you just saw me do it. If I can do it, you can do it. All right, let me go get some air, fill the gun up, see what it sounds like now. You all know how to fill your guns up with air. Nothing like getting vented in the face. It's there. You can definitely tell the difference in person. So guys, thanks for tuning in to Urban Air Gunner. This was a quick, fun project, a uh, nice little do-it-yourself project, and I encourage you guys to go and do it yourself. Don't be uh, intimidated or anything. It's not that hard. So what do I have planned next? Well, on test, I have this. It came all the way from the Ukraine. Took a month to ship here. This is a 3D printed 25 caliber Marauder or Armada 10 shot magazine. You can see the 3D printing on it. I'm excited about this. Either it's gonna work fine or I'm gonna break it. But either way, I'm gonna put it to the test. So join me in the next video when I put this to the test while sighting the gun in. And I got an interesting way to do that. All right guys, I'll see you later.